Hi, Sarah. Simon, hi. I have some dinner for you. Really? Thanks, Simon. You're welcome. The food is from Max. What are you doing? I'm reading a play. Which play are you reading? I'm reading Our Town. Oh, that's a good play. You read plays? Yes, I do. Are you surprised? Yes. <laughs> I like plays. They are interesting. Yes, they are. But I don't understand some plays. They have a lot of difficult words. I know. <laughs> are you reading this play for school? Yes. We're studying plays in my English class. I see. Who is your teacher? Miss Webb. I know Miss Webb. I fix things for her sometimes. She is a good teacher. We have a lot of fun in her class. Is English your favorite subject? No. Really? But you're a writer. I know. But English is not my favorite subject. Then what is your favorite subject? I don't really have one. Really? Now I am surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Max! Max! Guess what? What? Why are you excited? Here's a letter from Mom and Dad. They write every week. Why are you so excited this time? They're living in Italy now. Good for them. Italy is great. The food is great. I know, I know. But read the letter. I can go and live with them. You can't go to Italy. You have school. I can study in Italy. I can learn a new language. Can you go just for the summer? No, I can't apply for a summer program now. May is too late for that. Oh. But I can study there next fall. Then find a program now. What kind of program? A study program. Sarah is leaving us. Maybe. I'm going to Italy, I think. Why? Why? My parents are living there now. And I can learn new things. Do you speak Italian? No, but I can learn. She can eat great Italian food. You can do that here. Max's Italian food is great. High school in Italy sounds good. And the application isn't too long. But I have to write an 800 word essay. Mm, what about? About why I want to study in Italy. I need to say how the program will help me. Good thing you're a writer. Do you have to do an interview too? No, I just send the application, the essay, and a $100 application fee. What will you study in the program? I'll study Italian, art history, and some other things. Are the classes taught in Italian or English? Some are in Italian and some are in English. Wow, you'll have to learn Italian fast. She will. It's easy. I can speak Italian. No, you can't. Sure I can. Spaghetti, pizza, fettuccine. Ah. Good thing that's all you need to know. Hi, Betty. Bellissimo. What did you say? Bellissimo. It means very beautiful in Italian. Are you calling me beautiful? You are beautiful, and Italy is beautiful. I'm very excited for you. What a great opportunity. Thanks, Betty. But I'm not sure if I'm going yet. You should. It's the chance of a lifetime. Wait a minute. How did you hear about it? I didn't tell you. Good news travels fast. It sure does. I have an idea. What is it? While you're in Italy, you can be our foreign correspondent for the newspaper. Oh, wow. That would be fun. 
you can write an article about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> what is so funny? When I was a kid, I thought it was the Leaning Tower of Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. You're so lucky. When you go abroad, you can travel to different cities and try different foods. You mean if I go, and I would have to focus on studying. You are a good student. But I don't know if I'll be a good foreign student. You will be, and you'll be a great foreign correspondent. Now I just have to decide if I'm going or not. Word power. It's time for word power. This week, you'll learn words to use in a classroom. Look around your classroom. What do you see? Most classrooms have a chalkboard. The teacher can write things down on the chalkboard. Chalkboard. If you are going to write on the chalkboard, then you need some chalk. Chalk can be different colors. Chalk. When is class over? Just look at the clock and find out. A clock shows what time it is. Clock. When the chalkboard has chalk all over it, the teacher uses an eraser. Now the chalkboard is clean. Eraser. Every student has a desk. You sit at your desk when you are in class. Desk. This is a loudspeaker. A student or teacher can talk over the loudspeaker. Then everyone can hear in every room. Loudspeaker. Class is over. Remember all these words when you are in a classroom, and you'll have word power.